Greetings, Shreya. This is Mr. Kesslin. I wanted to go over a problem that we were looking at yesterday and um, realized that we were dealing with a with a double angle formula for this problem. Um, I'm not sure if you've covered that. If you haven't covered that yet, you'll be talking about double angle formulas um, very soon in your in your class. Um, bear with me if you can. I've got a new tablet that I'm that has a pen and I'm getting used to writing with it. So um, still not <laughs> not very good at it. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna solve this problem for theta. Um, to start off with, I'm gonna multiply both sides by two. Now, how did I know to do that? Well, we'll talk about that in a second. Again, because we're I know I'm, we're dealing now with double angle formulas. So I'm gonna take this equation, multiply both sides by two. Um, this looks familiar to me. This um, two cosine theta sine theta. Also, you can it's commutative property says I can take multiplications and move them in any order that I like. All right, two sine theta, cosine theta. That's very familiar to me because I'm familiar with my double angle formulas. So you'll be getting a formula in class that says um, two sine theta, cosine theta is actually equal to the sine of two theta. Okay, so treat this just like a Pythagorean identity. It's a formula that someone has proven and that you can use, and then these, these two expressions are equivalent to one another. Okay, so we know that 2 sine theta cosine theta is equal to, so I'm just going to do a direct substitution. We know it's equal to the sine of 2 theta, and we know that's equal to negative 1. All right, now what you want to think about here is the sine of something is equal to negative 1. So let's Let's say just if we were looking for the sine of x is equal to negative 1. Okay, where in our unit circle is that true? Well, if I go around my unit circle, I know that the coordinates down here are um, 0, negative 1. And since any ordered pair is cosine sine, we've found where the sine is negative 1, which would be what? 3 pi over 2. Okay, so we know the sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1, but in our double angle formula, what we're doing was instead of x, we have 2 pi is equal to 3 pi over 2. Okay, so I'm substituting 2 pi in for where we, we were looking at this as a variable x. Okay, so and we're interested in theta, which means theta is equal to, let's divide by 2. So what happens when you divide 3 pi over 2 divided by 2? It just increases your denominator. So you're going to get pi is equal to 3 pi over 4. Okay, so on our unit circle, 3 pi over 4 is here. Um, so our theta in this case is... 3 pi over 4. I'll convert that to degrees, also known as 135 degrees. Okay, so again, you're going to start talking about things like double angle formulas and half angle formulas. All right, so the theta we're looking for is half the size of what this, if we, what this variable will be if we just call this the sine of x. Okay, so half of 3 pi over 2 becomes 3 pi over 4. I hope this helps. Um, I'll be interested to know if you're not using double angle formulas for this. Uh, I'll be interested um, to know how your how you, your teacher solved this. Um, we'll talk to you next week. Thanks. Bye.